everyone, it is Crystal with Pineapple Papers and it is Sketch Sunday time. So we are doing exclusive sketches this month. So today's exclusive sketch was made by Moira. Isn't it awesome? First sketch she's ever made. I'm super excited. And she nailed it. Absolutely nailed it. So uh, we have two circle-esque uh, sketches this month, which worked out really good. So I decided to use the uh, cut from the 14th when I cut the circle out for another sketch Sunday for Nicole's sketch. Um, I used the actual circle, so now I'm going to use the outside. And I just went ahead and backed it with some super old, thin uh, crepe paper. It's like a pink polka dot on a, on a grid. And I'm going to, I'm going to cover a lot of it up, but that's going to be my circle. And then I took a couple of these scraps and tore them into pieces. Like you see the torn pieces of paper for the shelf, uh, on the sketch. And, um, I'm going to do this photo of my daughter. This was the professional photo for uh, her cheer pictures. And I grabbed two pieces of paper from the six by eight paper pad, the heritage paper pad. Now the first one uh, has a bunch of like old time photos on it, realistic photos. And I'm like, mm, not gonna use that. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip that over use it as white cardstock, and then I'm going to back it in the yellow. So right now I'm just trying to figure out where I'm going to put my torn bits. So I actually decided to stick the torn layers inside the circle instead of on top of the circle. And so that's what you see me doing here. Uh, I have three, it looks like she's probably got two. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and stick those down. All of them are going to be stuck in the um, inside of the circle. And these were just scraps from my kit, which is always exciting to use. And then I'm going to figure out where my photo is going to go. So it is central in the sketch, but because it's so big, I feel like I need to put it off to the side. So I'm going to put it off to the right hand side here and then I can start working on some of the embellishing and the title. So her title goes underneath the photo, but again, because my photo is so big, there's not really enough space to put it there. So I'm going to go ahead and put it on the layers to the left hand side and I'm just going to use this pre-made title from uh, the sticker sheet from Flourish from the paper pad and it's just going to say love ya. I, I'm like yeah that's good. <laughs> and then I am going to start working on some clusters. So she has uh, stars to indicate where her clusters go. I am going to use a bunch of florals and butterflies because that's just what I feel like this layout needs. So funny enough, after I finished this and I started cleaning my room, because let's be honest, it's been a disaster between follow a sketch February and then um, 30 days of sketches, <laughs> like, like it's, it's time to clean in April. And I am doing this, um, at the beginning of April. Um, but I found, um, I have like an authentic collection. That's a cheerleader, uh, collection. And I was like, Oh, I literally pulled this out so that I could, I could document it with that collection. But it's done and I think this is really pretty and she has many many years of cheerleading so uh, I'm not too worried about that plus I have pictures of her at the actual games and stuff that I need to document so I'll be able to use 
that collection here probably really soon. So I kind of went through what I had pulled out and then I'm kind of starting to realize that there's there's not a lot, a ton of embellishments. Like I do have embellishments, like don't get me wrong, but I just felt like I needed a little bit more. So I do have three kind of like mismatched baggies and they probably don't need to be in three, but um, three kind of mismatched baggies that you see here that have different, um, different Maggie Holmes collection ephemera in it. So I'm going to pull a few extra pieces out of there that you can see. And I also found these pom-poms. I was so <laughs> excited. I was like, she's got her pom-poms. I need to get some pom-poms on this layout. And uh, so I pulled the yellow ones. I did. I do have one pink one, but I think I'm just going to get the yellow ones on. So I'm trying to decide where these florals are going to go. I'm going to do three florals uh, to kind of give you that uh, visual triangle. I don't know that I did that on purpose, but looking back at it now, you can definitely see that's, that's what's happening. So I'm trying to decide this, this lower cluster is kind of making me think. And the reason it's making me think is because my daughter has a, a fairly big scar on her knee. And that was the knee that they had her put forward. And she, she hates that about the photo. So I was trying to see if I could camouflage that a little bit so that maybe she would like the picture better. Um, so that's why I was trying to put the florals over to the left, but that's not gonna work. So I move them over to the right. So instead she's gonna get a super cute little yellow pom-pom on that scar and nobody will know because it just looks like that's that's how it needs to be decorated and I love it. So I did layer up that upper butterfly. It's a gold one and I did a uh, acetate piece on top of it and I just stapled it together. And then I did get one of those wax seals that's a butterfly over to the left. So each cluster has a butterfly and a floral. Uh, two of them have wax seals and I added some clear stickers. I did one in the top and one in the bottom and then one under the title here. And then I also did get a cute little bow. So that is going to do it for my layout today. Oh wait, I add these cute little gold hearts too. Um, so each cluster gets one of those. And then that's going to do it for this layout. I hope that you have enjoyed the exclusive sketches this month. I know that I have really enjoyed uh, playing along with them. It's been really fun. Everybody did a phenomenal job. And I got a couple of close-ups for you. We would love for you to play with our sketches as well. So just tag us if you do. Um, or don't. It doesn't matter. <laughs> so that's going to do it. Remember to wear your crown. And I will see you next Sunday. Bye.